EVP. Recording one. 30 East Drive. 10.22 PM. Is it true that this place is haunted? Are you the spirit that terrorised the Pritchard family? Are you the monk that killed the little girl and threw her body into a well? Is the well underneath this house? Is it true that an exorcism took place here? Why are you still here? Can you point to the direction, is it? Can you push the glass towards where you are, please, Fred? I'm <laughs> well, well. Thank you. I went to the centre. Wow. Okay. I've just got goosebumps. End of EVP. 30 East Drive. Therta East Drive has a reputation on another level. If you take it for face value, it looks like your stereotypical British home. But what lies on the other side of the door has led many never to return. In 1966, Jean and Joel Pritchard moved into the house with their two children, 15-year-old Philip and 12-year-old daughter Diane. But little did they know what would lie ahead. Apparently strange things began to happen in the house almost immediately from unexplained water pools forming on the floor to doors being slammed and locked Photographs being slashed. Footsteps. Voices. Even apparitions. The apparition of what can only be described as a monk. All in black. The story goes that the monk was in fact a paedophile back in the 1600s. He raped and killed a young girl and after murdering her he threw her body in a nearby well. Later the monk was tried, he was found guilty and hung outside the property of East Drive. His body was later discarded and thrown into the same well as the poor little girl. The location of the well is where 30 East Drive now stands today. Over the years the Pritchard family were terrorised by the spirit of the monk who centred its attention on the daughter of the family, Diane. She witnessed a grandfather clock come hurling its way down from the top of the stairs. She claimed to have seen the apparition as it plagued her throughout the night. Even dragging her from the bottom of the stairs all the way to the top. An exorcism took place, but it didn't stop. When Diane and Philip came of age, they left the house as quick as they could. But Joe and Jean stood firm and bowed to stay as it was their home. Joe died in the bathroom some years later, leaving Jean on her own, who eventually moved out. The house became famous as reporters whipped up a media frenzy, claiming it's the most haunted house in Europe, which even led to a film being made about 30 East Drive, called When the Lights Went Out.
I vowed to go in there and investigate it with an open mind. And at the time of us going into film, I hadn't done any research at all on the place. As I wanted to give it an honest assessment. I'm not that gullible to think that all the stories are true. As I know a lot of these apparent haunted places are just made up stories and there's no facts or proof. It can be built on hearsay, fabricated stories and exaggerated truths. But given this place has a fair bit of credibility, we decided to spend the night and see if we could capture anything paranormal. Ladies and gents, welcome to 30 East Drive. Right, so we finally just got here now. Um, joined by my dad. Long time no see. Some nut job as well there. There's some nuts keeps, out the window there. Keeps, keeps coming over filming. Asking us we Ghostbusters. <laughs> just ruined that, mate. Yeah. Put that on Facebook if you see him. Right? He's, he does YouTube. YouTube, YouTube and all yeah. that shit. Yeah. No, when will you do it then? Tomorrow? Uh, it'll probably go up next week, the video. Yeah. Yeah, nice meeting you too, mate. See ya. Go away now. Oh. oh my god, he's a nutter, isn't he? Yeah. I'll start having again, I think. That type of video, you know, where they're sort of screaming every two minutes. Well, I'm hoping not again? anyway. He's here again. He's here again. The nutter's here. Oh, Right, so here we are, 30 East Drive, um, reportedly to reported to be the most haunted house in the whole of uh, Britain. Um, I'm joined here today with my dad, Morrison's, Morrison's finest. finest, not been on for a bit. Um, but yeah, it took us about an hour and a bit to get here. Um, but it's been on the, like I say, it's been on the agenda for a while, this. Um, but we're not going to be going in there like you see some of these paranormal videos that go in and they're setting stuff up and they're screaming about and it's not just so if it, if you're into that type of paranormal stuff then switch it off now because it's not going to be like that this is basically going to be a completely honest genuine and raw video where we're just going to go in and if nothing happens and nothing happens and i know it won't make great viewing but at least it's honest you know we'd, we'd sooner be straight up with you if we get something um i've purposely not gone um in and you know delved into the backstory i do know stuff about it because i've i've read about it in the past but i've purposely stayed off youtube and not watched any videos about it i haven't gone and researched the place so i just basically know a little bit about it because i don't want to be influenced by what other people have experienced in here um so like I say, I'm joined by my dad and I'm also teaming up with a, another YouTuber called Days of Horror. I'll leave his link in down below here. Um, so head over, go and give him a sub. He's a, he's a belting fella and he's, he's joined by his wife, Vicky, who helps him on the videos too. Um, like I say, both both sound really nice couple um, and they've done this before. So I'm going to get Chris Chris's take and Vicky's take on this uh, house and see how they got on. Um you know, on why they're coming back, really. So we're going to head in. We're a bit early, so we're going to head in soon and start setting everything up. And, um, you know, hopefully things will happen. Um, I've brought an extra set of nappies with me just in case, it, you know, something goes wrong. And, um, yeah, are you looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah. I'm going in completely open mind about it. So I'll be doing... Um, so the equipment I've got, I'll be just sort of like putting it out to see if I can communicate. If there if is any spirit communication in there, I've got the equipment to communicate with them. So I'm just going in and uh, with an open mind, really. Yeah. So that's the angle that we're going for. Open minded. If something unexplainable happens, then, you know, it happens and we deal with it head on. Um, and if we don't, then we don't. And it's, it is what it is.
So here we are, 30 East Drive. Um, we're in a bit of a group at the minute. Look at that. So there's like a group of maybe 10 people. And uh, we've just stopped for a little break, so I'm gonna do a little bit of filming. You know, these here on the stairs, these are just motion sensors. So if anything sort of comes past here, it'll light up. So if I walk past it now, it should go off, there we go. And then this here is apparently, this buggy sometimes goes flying down the stairs. But it's getting out pretty weird. Show you the bathroom. Oh, God. That's been proper old school. And this room here. This is creepy. Now this room, I, I feel like there is a bit of a vibe in here. It does feel a bit weird but obviously it's like a bit of a doll room in it that's me give you a bit of a wave <laughs> but yeah it seems a bit i mean these dolls don't help do they freak me out the best of times these if one of them stands up and starts running at me i'm out of here <laughs> um it's like filled with creepy old photographs really isn't it? So my dad's got the EVP going in here so we'll go and do an EVP with him eh? So this is like a little kids room. Uh, Dad do you want to do an EVP in here? Yeah. So my dad's brought his uh, EVP, we'll just close this door for two seconds. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to sort of make you be scared, isn't it? You know, the way it's, the decor. The way it's kitted out, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it does have a bit of an uneasy feel at times, I will say that. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a bit of an EVP session. My dad's got the EVP player in his hand. I don't know if you can see it properly, but... The lighting's... Obviously, it's really dark and we don't want to put any lights on. So, I don't know if you want to do a bit of a shout out, Dad. Yeah. See if we get anything. Now, there is people here next door is Chris and Vicky, but they're trying to be as yeah. quiet as they can. So, we're so trying to debunk that, won't we? Yeah, yeah. So, we're going to ask you if there's any spirits attached to um, number 30 East Drive. Could you please come forward and communicate with us? The spirit of Fred here, you named Fred off the household, the people that used to live here. All you've got to do is speak into that device in my dad's hand and we'll be able to pick your voice up. Jean and uh, Joel Pritchard, you lived here and you love this house and you refuse to be let uh, pushed away from the house. Could you tell me if your spirit still um, is residual in this house. Let's see if you've got anything. Can you move? Can you move anything in this room while we're here? Just like that. Yeah, give it a go. Let's see if we can uh, catch anything on that. To East Drive, could you please come forward and communicate with us? The spirit of Fred That's Chris in the background. Named Fred, off the household, the people that used to live here. All you've got to do is speak into that device in my dad's hand, and we'll be able to put your voice up. And Jean, and Let's go back uh, there then. Richard, you in my dad's hand and we'll be able to pick your voice up. Did you not hear anything like that? No. Like a faint breath. Say so, yeah. Device in my dad's hand and we'll be able to pick your voice up. 
Go back, Dad. There's a little girl voice. Can you tell me if your spirit still um, is residual yeah, in this that. house? Ooh, little girl's voice. Uh, pushed away from the house. Can you tell me if your spirit still um, is residual yeah, in this that, house? Yeah. So we just caught a little girl's voice here. Uh, pushed away from the house. Can you tell me if your spirit still um, is residual yeah, in this house? I think it says Dad. Yeah. Can you go back on that? Yeah. Sure, it says dad. I'm sure we just picked no. some up saying dad. Can you tell me if your spirit still um, is residual in the house? Just to be let, uh, pushed away from the house. Can you tell me if your spirit still um, is residual in this I house? I think that says dad. Like a little girl, maybe. <laughs> Can you tell me if your spirit still. Um, so after only being in there a short while. We started to pick up on a few little things. Now I'm not saying that the paranormal, but at the time we couldn't really explain it. Your spirit still um, is residual. The house does have quite an oppressive feel to it, and I'll be completely honest with you. I won't like to be left in there alone. It has quite an uneasy vibe, almost as if someone was stood at the side of you, curious watching what you was up to and I felt as though I shouldn't really be there but the longer that I stayed the more I felt like something could happen right so here we are uh, 30 East Drive and I'm joined by Chris Hi. from Days of Horror and his wife Vicky Hi. who's on the bed <laughs> um, what I wanted to ask you Chris is obviously you've done this before haven't you mm. what why have you come back what was the re what was the reason why? I think when we when we did it last time, it's one of those where you know we, I don't know if people saw the footage that we did last you know when we I'll came. I'll put the video on. But um, it's one of those, isn't it, where you come and you, you start questioning yourself: Did I hear things? Did we see mm. things? Did we sense things? And it 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 does have a unique atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at this moment in time, very little has happened. Mm. But from when we came last time, it was about twelve o'clock midnight. Yeah. When everything started, started to kick happening. off, so we've still got another half an hour or so. Um, but yeah, um, we, we've come back really because we wanted to bring more equipment this time. Yeah, a few bits and bats to see if we can actually confirm what, yeah, yeah. what we kind of felt and heard yeah. with our own ears as well last time round. <laughs> this is the room, like I said, where we picked up more like the arm mm. voices. Um, we used the necrophonic app last time, and we've just done that again tonight. I think we've got some more stuff. Mm. We've used the K2, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And that seems to be going up and down. We didn't use that last time. And we didn't have that last time either. Right. So for me, this room's definitely got something about it. Mm. Would you not think as well bringing your own equipment this time? Yeah, we brought more. We yeah, brought a lot more. A lot more this yeah, time. Yeah, but you can also know it's real. You've not, you've not been raped. Oh, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We always say that. I, I, I don't want to con people by coming to these places mm. and blatantly just. Oh, this happened. Yeah, that yeah. I was touched, and you know, I'll be having my hair pulled. I, I can't be doing me all no, that. No. So many people do it, and you think, no, no it, yeah. it, it, it's rubbish. Yeah, you know, I would rather come here if I don't capture anything. We don't capture anything. Exactly. If we do, we do. There's definitely, for me, there's definitely um, a, a heavy pre feeling in here. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. you can tell something yeah. has gone on because there's just that vibe to it, whether it's in patches where it's active and then it's not. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, there's definitely a, some sort of vibe in here, not in in the whole house. It, I wouldn't say, say it's the spirits aren't performing monkeys. No, 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 exactly, anything, exactly. Unless they want to. Really. Yeah, it, this, that, this is what we said last time we came. We were driving home, I think three o'clock, half past three in the morning when we yeah. left, yeah. and we were talking about it all the way home. And I said, they, they, they open this this house up. I think is it six days out of seven? I think it's yeah. Wednesdays. Maybe mm -hmm. it's not. I, I can't remember the day, but yeah. Yeah. like you said, they're not they're not circus performers. No. No. If, if, no. I keep saying the word if if yeah. spirits real because yeah. I've got to be fully convinced. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? I've got to have a lot more. So I always say if yeah. without, and, and I, I say that because I don't want to upset proper believers like yeah, yourself. Yeah, you yeah. know, you're into yeah. big times. You yeah. know, and I don't want to 
like said, oh, it's just all rubbish, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Because I, I like to see top fence, I think. I like to believe there is something. Yeah, yeah. I like, you know, that was... But you want to see it as well, you, you, don't you? you well, wanna... yeah, I mean, if I, like I said earlier, if, if I see something, I can literally say, look, we were there, we saw it, you know, we've seen something, but I can't explain it. We yeah. was there. I'd, and nobody believes me, that's fine. I'd say, yeah, we yeah. Was, and just like that video we did at the Burnley Cemetery with this with this items. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I posted it, I said nobody's gonna believe us. They're gonna say it's a squirrel, it's a dog, it's a cat. We yeah. heard something. Yeah. Likewise. We both sort of looked as well. Yeah, and we like... did, uh, you know, and it was strange. But well, you sent me the uh, link, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Check this out. Yeah. It really, really surreal. Basically, Chris and uh, Vicky were in was it Burnley, Burnley Cemetery, Cemetery, and they've got like um, basically all graves, and the tr the leaves had fell on the floor. And there was no one round them. It was like completely just them two on their own. And next minute you can hear this like pitter pattering of like little maybe child's feet yeah, running past. Um, and I'll leave a link down to it. Check Chris's channel out too. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it covers everything from gruesome stories to just everything top to bottom. And I always watch it when I'm in the bathroom. Uh, I, hope so. uh, <laughs> I get a bath and stick it on. Um, so go and head over. I'll leave his link in the channel. And yeah, you'll love his stuff. So basically what we're doing now is we just threw everything on the floor, um, EVP and all these devices that you can see, sort of are, are the motion sensored and... These are, mo yeah, they'll only go off when you're close, when, when they go off, I'll show you. They won't go off from a height, so they'll only go off really close. So right. that's and why... The cat balls, obviously, they're, they're through movement, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so what we'll do now is we'll try and call out and see if we can get anything. Joe, are you here with us? How did you die, Joe? Where did you Dunn? die, Joe? Dunn. That's your last name. Is that Dunn? I'm, sure, I'm sure that said Dunn. Joe, where did you die? Fred, if that's your name, was it nickname? Are you the actual black monk? Fred, said Fred then. Fred, if you're near us, can you put one of these devices and make them flash the cat balls? Like that. Do you like people being in this house? Is there any children with us in this room right now? How many spirits are in this house? Last name, what's your real name? Give us your surname. Joe. 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 I keep thinking I can hear it there, mate. Here, behind me. Yeah. Joe. Do you know when that said that, mate? Yeah. Joe, you once lived here, you don't live here anymore. Can you tell me what your wife's name was? What's your wife's name, Joe? Joe, do you miss this house? Do you miss being here, Joe? If you, if you do, can you send that all the way into the red?
Keep going, Joe. I've keep, got goosebumps. Uh, keep keep moving the uh, lights. Three. I heard something clear there. Uh, keep going, use all your energy, come on. Joe, make them lights go into no, the red. That's it, keep going. We know that you miss miss being here, Joe. We got good memories of living in this house. It's trying, isn't it? Yeah. Joe, what was your wife's name? Oh, my beast. Did it go up there? Yeah. yeah. What was the name of the spirit you called the spirit a name? Could you tell us what you called? The spirit in this house. Did it? Don't, it's going red. It's going red, isn't it? If you can do that to the box, you can make it, you can, you can move it. Can you push the box? Bash. I heard her. Thanks, Ed. Who did you hear? Feel your strong spirit, Joe. Can you move that box? Help. 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 Who needs help? Are you stuck here, Joe? Do you need our help? Who needs our help, Joe? Is it you? Is it G is it Jean? Did you? Joe, can you copy me if I knock on something? Can you do the same? And said yes. Try it for us again. Knock for us. Joe, if you come near this ball. Sheffield. 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 Oh, that on it. Is that, one my Is that where you originate from, Joe? Sheffield. Uh, what was that? That was over here. What the hell was that, then? That was definitely a cr creek over here. It sounded like concrete rolling, didn't yeah. it? Like falling from the wall or something. Just move it. Do it. That's going mad. No, it was over here. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. The light's coming on. Right, right, you're here with us then. Can you make that other one go off there? Yeah, this one go off. We know that you're here. We've just heard you. Come on, touch it. Could you light that one up? You just lit for yes and you want for no. That one yes, that one no. If you're near us, could you light the one for yes up? If you're in the room, just do it done again. Here. 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 We know there's a spirit around us because the um, lights in this up, your energy is lights in this up, you're trying to set the energy from this device here. <laughs> So after a while of trying to communicate, we did get some voices through the app that you could connect to the house. The name Joel, Joel. 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 being one of them. The owner that lived and died there. So they say this is Joel who um, lived here and he died in the bathroom. And then I think this is his wife, Jean. Henry of Jean, a true lady. Number 30, thank you for allowing us, allowing your true story to be told and remembered by everyone who has visited 30th Drive. Yeah, that's the guy that came through. The K2 meter seemed to spike in response to some of the questions we was asking to. You miss being here, Joe. If you, if you do, can you send that all the way into the red? The spirit in this house. 
as well as the pebble light that will only illuminate when someone is really close to it. Oh, oh there we go. There we go. And as you could see from the footage, none of us were. <laughs> so after a short break, the night was rolling on, and there was a definite shift in atmosphere of the house. Almost as if whatever was supposed to haunt it was ready to make contact, and the oppressive feeling that I spoke about earlier felt like it just got that little bit more heavier. Could there have been a logical explanation for it? Quite possibly, tiredness could be settling in. Or could there be more of a sinister explanation? Who knows? Regardless, I decided to join Chris, who was attempting to communicate in the bathroom and having some success. Joe, can you make them, that green light flash? Wow, cat bones going on. No way. Joe, are you on your own in this room with just me and Anthony? Did you die in the bath, Joe? Uh, Do you know how we died? I don't. No. Joe, how did you die? Joe. See, I can't explain why that'd be doing mm. that. In, you know, in my, in my head, I can't yeah, yeah. understand it because we're not touching oil. No. No and you have it. to proper grab it to do yeah, it. Yeah, you do. You have to because when anyone else has bought it, I have to shake it. Joe, if you had a, if you collapsed in the bathroom, can you light that cat ball up again? It's a delay, but. Mm -hmm. Joe, I want to get another cat ball there, which is similar. But if you can get this to flash at the same time, okay. I'd be happy. Okay. That doesn't take much to touch mm -hmm. it. Joe, can you make that orange ball flash? Okay, two is not flashing, is it? No. Can you make the other ball flash, Joe, or Fred, or the witch? We got we got the word witch came Did through, you? and he was talking about witches with James before. Oh, when yeah. He said apparently on the third step downstairs, this somebody picks up the presence of a witch. No way. Is it Joe we've got? Is it definitely Joe we've got, or is this Fred messing about? Can you make one of the balls flash again, please? Is it Jean? Is Jean with us in here? It was low straight away. That's weird. Jean, if it's you, can you make this green light flash? Can you go and tip to that device and make the light flash, please? If it is Jean. 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 No way. Jean, how did you die? Okay. Can you make one of the balls flash again, please, Jean? Wow. That's too awesome. That's spot on as well, Thank isn't you, it? Thank you, Jean. Do you rem remember your death, Joe? Do you remember dying in his bathroom? Yeah, too flickered. Yeah, too flickered. There you go. Do you remember dying in his bathroom, Joe? How, how did you pass, Joe? Does that help? Oh. Not lit up for a while, is it? Hmm? Cat ball's not lit for a while, is it? Oh. 
see that makes it more convincing though because yeah. it's not just going off because the battery's not or something you know what I mean? yeah yeah but it's actually doing it on command as well before joe Oh, it's coming through loads, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Thank you, Joe. Is, that's no, is it a coincidence? You hear Joe and then the ball flashes. No, and then we just said it's not been going off and then it has. Joe, do you want us to leave this room now? You can make the ball flash if you want us to leave. But the K2 has already flashed in this room. Oh, that's a delay. Go. Yeah. I think that they come through. They have to build their energy to answer the question, you know what I mean? Joe, sorry, I mean, I know this is difficult, but can you confirm if you want us to leave this room by flashing that ball again? Is that how you leave them? Yeah. If you like us to leave, Joe, or Jean, whoever's here, we'll respect that and leave. Just light that ball up for us. Is it ball then? It sounded like it, didn't it? Joe, do you want to stay in this room? If so, light the ball. Like it's as so if there's an energy thing, it, mm -hmm. we might just be yeah. draining, 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 and it's like. Yeah. Is there a witch in this house with us right now? If there's a witch, flash one of the balls. I'm praying it doesn't go off, to be honest. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh, you. God. So there is a witch in this house with us right now, is there? <laughs> is the witch evil? Is she an evil yeah. witch? Yeah. Does the witch mean us any harm? Does the witch have a hold over your jaw, or Jean? Well, that's a kill me or something. Is the witch... More, is the witch more frightening than Fred? Because we've not seen much of Fred tonight, have we? How many spirits are in this house? Was that eight? Yeah. Could have been. Eight, like that. Yeah. You know, the Yorkshire accent type thing. You're disgusting, you look upset. <laughs> Delay. If if Fred or the black monkeys with us, can you flash that ball? I think it's Fred taking the best. So like I said, we'll give a an honest assessment on everything here. Um obviously it's very creepy with the dolls and the old furniture. But what I have noticed as well is this room, you feel a bit weird in here. But if you look at the ceiling, now the tiles are strange, aren't they? And they're sort of curved down. And it gives the illusion that you're sort of falling forward a little bit. Now, I don't know why the tiles are like that. But when you do come in here, you do feel that sort of feeling that you're being dragged towards there, if you know what I mean. Um, so whether that has something to do with making you feel a bit uneasy in this room or what and obviously like the curtains sort of droop in the middle too so it could just be a bit of a bit of like I don't know maybe it's to make you feel uneasy in here on top of the dolls because um, they're obviously creepy aren't they <laughs> and the bible as well the bible's in here Shocking camera work, I do apologise. Um, but yeah, there is factors to, um, you know, why things can appear to be scarier than they are. 
and I think just having them little tiles curved like that can sort of put you into that mind frame. Um, I'll have a look on through here too, see if they're in the other room. Yeah, and they're in the other room as well, so. Now whether that's from the house originally, these tiles, because they do look quite old. Um, so, I don't know. Look at that. That's for the older gen in it. That's more my cup of tea there. The beetles. But yeah, creepy in it. Look at this doll here. I just, there's something strange about dolls in there. They have that frozen gaze on the face. Hello, my. This is Nora, she's been donated. She's not very nice. She has moved in a friend's house and scratched on the door. Please respect her. Jesus Christ. So, my dad was in here a minute ago and this door opened up a little bit. It's not done it since. The door. It is too a little bit, but apparently it opened. You heard it squeak as well, he's getting it back on the camera. I'm looking right back. I don't know how much it opened up. It's only even like that. Did it do that, yeah? It's a dull light because it's a little holly. You heard the squeak like that. No way. <laughs> so basically, we're in uh, the bathroom now. And um, unbeknown to me before, but this is where one of the owners, he's, he was called Joe, he um, he died in here. And I've just done a little bit of a session in here with Chris, and we've um, picked up a response from the cat ball. Um, it was quite, you know, it was quite compelling really for it. Um, so what I've just said to me dad, I said we'll grab the um, EVP player, and we'll try doing a bit of a session in here, because it has got a little bit of a vibe in here. But then again, is it because I know someone's died in here, so... I don't know, but I don't know how he died. I don't know if he collapsed or he fell in the bath or he, he died having an heart attack or anything. I really don't know. So um, what we're going to do is a bit of a EVP session, see if we can capture any voices. But bearing in mind there is people still doing their sessions as well. Um, so we'll see what we get. Um, Joe, we really appreciate if you have tried to communicate with us. We know this was your last um, place you would have seen before you died. And could you just tell us, to, to confirm your name or the family name? How long did you live here for, Joe? What did Fred do? Was he, was he um, causing mischief? Did you not like Fred? Was you well aware, Joe, when you lived there with Jean, that there was another, there was a spirit in this house, or multiple spirits? Can you tell us what's in the living room under the floor near the fire? Is that where they put the monk? If I whistle, Joe, can you repeat my whistle? <whistles> can you do it again for us, Joe? <whistles> Tap, can you shout help if you fell? Bang on the, bang on the bathtub if you can, to let us know that you're in trouble, that you fell over. Can you hear that? Huh?
叫，踩，踩不跳。搞不好没有生存呢。菜椒，菜椒，那我们做哎，食物，够啊。菜椒，这话菜椒，够吧，这个。So this was pretty confusing to us. We think we can hear the words, take Joe, in a female voice. And if correct, it only adds more credibility to this place. Could it have been contaminated audio by other people in the house? I wouldn't argue with that. But after speaking to other members, nobody came forward and said that it might have been them. Which left us scratching our heads a bit, and swaying more towards the fact that it could be paranormal. And the words "take Joe" could be a plea from his wife Jean. She might be trying to tell us that Joe is stuck between worlds. If you want to think that deep into it, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. So please feel free to leave a comment below. So that was uh, the bit of a experiment in his bathroom. Definitely caught a few voices, um, stuff that we can't really put our finger on. Could it be contamination? Yeah, but I reckon one of them, the one where it was like muttering a bit, that was definitely very close to the recorder. Um, I'd say that this bathroom's probably the creepiest and most active part of the house. Um, but yeah. This is, I'd say this is probably a genuine hotspot for paranormal activity and I can see it getting pretty finger here, you know, considering that the guy died. I can see it being quite active. If you lived down there on your own, you'd experience a few things, I think. As we made our way into the early hours of the morning, things began to take more of a sinister turn. We was invited to do an experiment by the tour guide, James, which involves using a glass on the table, an old method that's been used for hundreds of years to communicate with the other side. The people involved in this experiment was my dad, Chris, and a couple that we met on the night who also seemed pretty legit, as they wanted answers just like we did. With very little happening in the beginning, things started to heat up, and the spirit of the monk, who apparently goes by the name of Fred, came forward. Apologies in advance for the poor camera work and the lighting. Are you music with left to right, kind of thing. Sort of doing that. Yeah. Come on, spirit. Can you feel the table move at all? No, no just the glass. glass is going there, look. It's not a light glass either, is it? I'm hardly touching that. I'm hardly touching it. I'm not touching it. <laughs> I'm hovering over it. Okay, thank you, spirit. Put it back in the middle. Right, you're confusing me now. Um, okay. Yeah. Sorry, it's, it. it's not your mate messing about, is it? It could be Fred. <laughs> <laughs> it could be fair. Mine's sloppy, so you can't even move the glass. No, mine, yeah, mine's still, that's why I keep going like that. Move. Okay, spirit. Is this Fred? If it's Fred, come over here for a yes. You little bastard. Well, my finger's not touching it. Whoa. Okay, thank you. Back in the middle. Back in the middle. My, my is. thing is literally. Yeah, the thing is, I find that if you're thinking of somebody in your mind, he reads your mind and he pretends to be that person. But through various questions we ask. Yeah, but I was thinking something and you went to me twice. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead again. <laughs> again. 
Je le rassure. Mmh. Okay. Is this you, Fred? It's alright. Right. Are you trying to be somebody? Okay, thank you. Put you back in there. Okay, Fred. If that's you, Fred, which I've got a, a gut feeling it is, <laughs> are you happy that we are here? For a yes over here and a no over here. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Are you happy that we're here, Fred? Do you want us to go? Is that going to be a yes then? <laughs> going over tonight. Come on. Come on, thank you. Okay, thank you. Catch in the middle. Are there any other spirits with you here? Fred. Are there any other spirits with you? Yes, over here, no, over here. Are there any other spirits with you? Are you not alone? What's up? It's playing around. Wow. Just spinning in a circle. Mm. Yeah. I the energy was going to get stronger, did you? It will get. It just went, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm having just literally. Like he's on a red bull. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fred. What was the question you asked them for it to do that? Um, um, so are you real? Are you... Are you um, Happy with you, was it? No, I'm trying to think something else. Uh, are you... He's in your mind, he's going to say yes. He is, yeah. <laughs> Whatever he was thinking, it's a yeah. Come on, Fred, we've had this before. You're not my type. <laughs> 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 OK, Fred, right. Fred, if, ow, if that's you, Fred. Is it true what they say about you? All these stories? Is it true what they say, Fred? Don't play the silly bugger. Don't play the silly bugger, Fred. Either yes or no. Is it true what they have said about you? Is this like he doesn't want to answer? Or? Yeah. I take that as either they don't want to answer or they don't know the answer. Just because I have not researched this place, mm. what's he actually done? Right. The story goes that uh, he was a paedophile. Right, oh, sure. And he raped and killed a six year old girl. What year was this, do we know? I don't know the, the year. What, year. what year did we get on that necrophonic when he asked about a child? It says seven. Yeah. So it's not far off. So um, that's spinning quite. He, oh. he, um, he's probably not liking me telling you, you see. Mm. Um, and he put this girl in the well, yeah. the well underneath the fireplace. Yeah. And then he got found out, and where the island is at the front of the ho uh, house, it used to be a crossroads. Right. And they hanged people. Uh -huh. So they hung him. And they say, if you get hung at crossroads, you don't know where to go. Mm. And that's why people stay around. Anyway, they then apparently put him down the well. And that's why he is here. Right. 
that's the way the story goes. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. And that stops them. Yeah, mm. okay. Is this Fred? Fred? Mm. Yes, pretty Fred. Fred? All right, listen to me, Fred. You can do that all night if you want, Fred. It doesn't impress me. Fred, open that door. Okay, Fred. Can you stop the glass, please? Fred, thank you. Is it stop. you who pushes the pram down the stairs for me? Okay, thank you. Back in the middle. Could you possibly do that tonight for me, please? Before we leave. And for all these lovely people. We do hear it. That'd be impressive, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. Brilliant. I think it's all catch it on camera as well. I'm not afraid if you don't want to talk to me. Okay, Fred. Okay, can you stop, please, Fred? Right, are you building up energy to open the door? Ooh. Can you do that, Fred? Nope. Oh, quick. Please Just stop there. Yeah. Please mm -hmm. look at Can you open the door, Fred? Which door? Any Bedroom door. door. Can you actually open the bedroom door or maybe the boiler door? There's some lights on it so you can see if it moves. You've got your Come on, Fred. Okay, we'll leave that for you to do, if you could please, be grateful. So, Fred, is there anybody else here with us? Is Jean here with us, Fred? Jean, are you with us? No. Oh. Jean, if you're with us, Jean, can you push the glass towards me? If Jean's here, come towards me. If not, go towards Carol. Fred? Fred, will you step aside, please? We can do this all night, Fred. I can go all night, Fred, don't worry. Ooh. What's up? Looks like I'm pretty near the cupboard, okay. the boiler door, isn't it? Fred, yeah. are you stood near the boiler door? Okay, ask Fred. him to point to the direction he's in. Can you push the glass towards where you are, please, Fred? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the lights well. Thank you. Well, I went to the same time. Wow. Okay. I've just got goosebumps all over. <laughs> okay. Ask it one more time. Do that again, the light goes out. Yeah. Come on again. You ask him. Can you point the glass in the direction you are? Oh, no. Are you playing along with us, Fred? You like playing games, it's don't you? Yeah, that's pretty good. So, that was it, 30 East Drive. Um, it's about half two, what is it? 20, uh, half two, 25 to three. Yeah. Um, we've got a bit of a drive home now. Some people have stayed and some have gone. But overall, definitely as the night goes on, it becomes it takes a different vibe, doesn't it? I mean, yes. the voices that we caught in the bathroom. Yeah. Um, I'll have to replay them and see what they they actually say. But not just them. It was like the, you know, with the table thing and the marble spinning. I mean, I mean that with the glass. I mean, I know for a fact that I was only touching the top of it, like that. Uh, you don't, you can't really tell, can you? Um, but it was a bit strange. It was answering questions, wasn't it? So mm. and it would just stop on a. Like straight away, wasn't it? Yeah, he's got sort of like a 
a communication with it, aren't they? Because they must do it that that often. Mm. So when he says stop, it, it'll stop, won't it? Yeah. So on the whole, I mean, some of the stuff I didn't show you was they actually did some experiments and that, and they like to get you involved with some stuff. Um, and to be honest, the the couple that that run it, they were they were good. They were they were nice enough people, weren't they? Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, that's going to be it. I'll review everything now. And um, like I say, this channel's all about variety. And I know that the paranormal is a bit of a Marmite topic. And some people like it and some people don't. Um, but ultimately, it is something that I'm interested in. So to do something like this was a bucket list, really. Possibly, you know, on paper, one of the most haunted houses in the whole of Britain. So... I'm going to wrap it up here now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I say, it was as honest as we possibly could do it. And until next time, see you later. Cheers. Bye. So, is 30 East Drive haunted? There is definitely something strange about the house. Is it a mixture of spirits that reside within the proper? The spirits of Joe. Jean. A little girl. Um, or the black monk. Can you push the glass towards where you are, please, Fred? <laughs> I'm the lights well. Thank you. I went till six then. Wow. Okay. I've just got goosebumps all over. Who knows? Or is it a spirit manipulating you into thinking that there's multiple ghosts? A trickster almost. Something more sinister. Or could it all be in your head? The influence of others believe in the hype that is associated to the house. What I will say is that there's a feeling in the house that's like nothing I've ever experienced before. It has a thick, heavy atmosphere. As soon as you step over the threshold, Maybe this will be a place that I have to go back to at some point in the future and investigate further. But until that day, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. And until the next one, take it easy.